guys. Y'all see I got serious from a, a good comment from a subscriber. I appreciate you again. They told me that uh, my Oprah was low on nitrogen. That's how come I had yellow leaves. So I looked up what was good, what had nitrogen in it, and it said, use coffee grounds, bone meal, and uh, eggshells. But I know eggshells take a while to get to it anyway. Got to pound them and all of that. So I have some that I put in my compost pile and turned it over for a while. That'll be good for my bed for next year. After I done with the harvest, I'll add it to the garden bed, the compost. And then before I start next year, I'll add some manure to the soil before I get started. Ken Richard. And y'all that just got done using the fixings that's good for tomato plants that has nitrogen in it. It's organic. I put some around the okra plants and I mix some in the raised garden bed saw and put it there too. So it'll be kind of like a time release and just a few little coffee grounds because they say you could overdo nitrogen. So it's also too much of a good thing sometimes. But anyway, y'all, pray for me that my okras make it. If not, I would have learned something that'll help me for the crops next year, the most high willing. Let me take you to the Gambia to see what the guys doing up there. They blessed up there. They have Mr. Baja all the time. So he knows what to do for the everything that you plant, you know. So far anyway, so anyway, come on with me to the Gambia. <laughs> So this is the butternut or the squash, commonly known as Yeah, yeah, is planting butternut squash, butternut squash seeds, y'all. This one also is very important. Okay, no problem. Say, say, we use it all dishes. All kind of dishes. You can put it in penetrating. Okay, no problem. Okay, I can come. Okay, no. You're welcome. Bismillah. Come on, come on. So, 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 Yeah, yeah. It's one it's of the planting the sorrel now. You know, the vegetable. sorrel. How do I call it? Sorrel. Is it vegetable? Yeah, of course, vegetable. Yeah, vegetable. Yeah. So you can eat it raw or cook. You can eat it in a row or cook. Mm -hmm. So it can goes into any dish in the Gambia. But the best dish I like is the one we call Rangabisa. That's my best dish. From there, 
the mother of this half. And all those two this, they must get Kucha, which is commonly known as the sorrel. So in this sorrel, you have two benefits. You can enjoy the flower and you can also enjoy the leaves. Mm -hmm. So this is the sorrel. It's now time for so, sorrel. So you know sample here, yeah, you yeah. come to them. Yeah. Yeah, because this is very amazing. Planted last year and now fruiting. And this is called the star fruit. You can see, just like the shape of the star. Very nice, yellow in color and ripe, very juicy and sweet, but a little bit sour. So, in permaculture, as we said, we want to do a lot of diversification. That's why we are planting as many different plants as possible. And the issue there, the reason why we are doing that, we want to have at least a continuous supply of food year round. Because all trees have seasons where they produce their fruits. So if you can plant 10 different uh, fruit trees, uh, the chance of you not having a fruit in a particular time is very little. So from one season to the other. Nevertheless, even if you look at what we are doing today, we have planted uh, hot pepper, sweet pepper, okra, of course, uh, sorrel, then pumpkin, so, and then bitter tomato. So you can see we are diversifying. As I said, our purpose here is we are here to do a lot of diversification so that there will be no loss. Because permaculture is anti-monoculture or monocropping. So on that note, we thank all our viewers, our dear mom, thank you so much for every support. And those donating, keep donating. This is the pride. This is the success. From the tree, now the fruits are coming. Who is going to eat this? Probably not me. It could be a bird or a monkey. So this means that we are contributing to the life of innocent animals. And moreover, if it grow bigger, it can serve for generations. On that note, I thank all the team members for being with me. Because without them, I cannot do anything. I'm only here to support them technically and to share my knowledge and wisdom with all of them. I'm very grateful. On that note, I thank everyone. Abaraka, until next time. Yeah, Abaraka. No, I <laughs> Yeah, good afternoon once again. Now we are planning to plant the hey, now. We have planted the hot pepe and the sweet pepe. And uh, which one is this again? Bitter tomato. Bitter tomato. Yeah, we planted, we are, we are just coming from bitter tomato, now it's okra. Here's the okra seed, it's somehow thicker than the, uh, the, the bitter tomato seeds and the pepper seeds. This one is more thicker, that's why we didn't make like, like, a lane like that one. So this one is thicker. A small deep pop, a hole, and drop maybe three to four seeds in each hole. Yeah. So this one you can add big amount of soil because the seeds are sm uh, somehow thicker. As you can see, you just drop three or four seeds and put big, big amount of soil on top. So this is Habashia. Let us plant this. plant crops for the future generation. Now you see our driver also is planted. The driver also is planted from seeds.
As you can see now, we will plant the whole garden because we are approaching rainy season. Now, now any more seeds? Yes. Yeah. Good afternoon again, once again. Yeah, now we are planting, planting the bitter tomato. As you can see. Yeah, yeah, he is now planting. Small. Bitter tomatoes. Bitter tomatoes. Line and cover with small sand like the one we did before. And bitter tomato is one of the most useful uh, vegetable in the Gambia here. As many dishes you can put put in, 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 in any dish in the Gambia. Like Benachin, Bahal, Supakanja, all kind of dish in the Gambia you can add uh, bitter tomato there. And it is very costly now in the market. So that's why we are planting it. Yeah, as you can see. Yeah. As you can see, it, you don't add too much of sand on top because the seed is very light. You know, if you put too much of sand, maybe before they will sprout, it will take time. So this is the process. Yeah, good morning, Habashia. Good morning, everyone. We are back again in our food forest in Jamanjele. Yeah, as you can see, we are planting nursery, nursery seed. So, Fat Mother, like how Fat Mother said just now, he planted the hot, hot pepper. Now, me, I choose the sweet pepper. You know me, I'm always sweet. That's why I choose the sweet one. So I plant the sweet pepper. <laughs> like what uh, Fat Mother just said. We just spread it like this. And apply a small amount of soil. You add a small amount of soil on top of it. Just like this. As you can see. You can cover it with this one. Yeah, it just continues. Yeah. Just what the acid will do. here anytime you come here we always do something special since the rainy season is almost due now we are making some nursery uh, nursery in the sense that we need the nurse uh, the, the small the plant so we can transplant it in the rainy season so far so far so far so good this is the team so farmer is making the rose and fat water and yahya they'll tell you what they are coming to do fat water has a special plant what is the name fat water um, good morning, Habasia Food Forest, so, and to all our members of Habasia Food Forest. It's another Sunday, and we are back to the Jambangeli Food Forest. Today, we are doing uh, nursery preparation and planting of hot pepper. This one is hot pepper sheets, and it is locally known in the Gambia as Guana. And today, if you go to the market, in the Gambian market, actually, if you go there, pepper is one of the most expensive 
vegetable i can say and it has a very big market value the market value is increasing every day because whatever you are cooking in the gambia any dish that you are cooking in the gambia you must put there pepper so the demand for pepper is high and the market value is also very good so today we are trying to do some nursery bed preparation for pepper because pepper you cannot plant it directly you have to put nursery for the pepper take care of it and then later you transplant the crops when they are due so that's what we are coming to do right so so can you demonstrate you come closer so you can just bring inside here and after you cover right now as you can see i'm trying to sprinkle the seeds in a raw form this thing will protect it from being blown away from this thing the wind and stuff and it is an easy way of this thing northern pepper so that's why we are doing it like in a raw form and then after we put just a slight amount of soil on top of it so that when you water it seeds splash so that's what i am doing Thank you. Yes, good morning, Salim. Yes, morning. Good morning to our beautiful listeners and then the subscribers as well. As we are back to the food forest today, so this as we are. <laughs> well, we are back to Havasia Food Forest in Jambangeli as usual every Sunday, as you can see us. Today we are just embarking on uh, planting, as we know, as we all foresee the rain soon in some few weeks time. So for today we are coming to plant more and more things here at the food forest. As you can see, I'm preparing the soil where we want to do some nursing of the peppers because there are certain stocks you need to trans you need to nurse them first before transplanting them but all you need for the first time is just to prepare the soil first you have to work on the soil and then to prepare it in order to do a bit, you know nursing or planting so that's what we are doing as of now yes so thank you but then keep on watching anyway yeah we'll give you more updates on our daily activities that we are doing here today. Yeah. Oh. Huh? Well, guys, I hope y'all enjoyed seeing everything happening in the Gambia as well as all the stuff been going on here. I'm fighting mosquitoes, y'all, as usual. I do have a mosquito call burning, but I'm standing up by this fig tree <laughs> in the meantime. So anyway, just wanted to tell y'all, I hope whatever y'all planting grows better than what I'm planting here <laughs> in, in Galveston. I hope y'all stuff grow like in the Gambia. <laughs> Watch the videos there. It may motivate you to do way better than me. But I'm doing my best, y'all. So until next time, happy gardening. Grow what you eat, eat what you grow. And try your best. At first you don't succeed, try again. People give you good suggestions. See what you can do to implement them. Until next time, y'all. Peace. Peace. Power to the people. I'm out, child. And don't forget, if you haven't subscribed, please do comment, like, share below. Bye.